something that a lot of folks want. So I'm wearing a Google Glass right now. If I turn it on by either like tilting my head up or touching it, um, I can look at my email, I can look at photos, text messages, uh, I can use it as a headset for phone calls. I can speak to it, uh, OK Glass, uh, record a video. Right, so now I'm recording a video of you recording a video. Um, right now I'm seeing that it is 67 degrees, 72 in San Francisco with lots of traffic. They gave me this device uh, about a week ago and I've been developing some uh, pretty fundamental applications on it. I'm building the first Twitter application for it. I'm working on a Foursquare application for it. I'm building Twilio integrations for it. You know, it's a wide open platform, right? So anyone can come in and sort of build these, you know, tools. So how do these applications work? So the Twitter application allows me to tweet photos directly from Glass. So I could take a photo of you right now. <laughs> I got the camera in it too. And I can just click on that and tweet it. The way I envision Foursquare working is by uh, suggesting nearby venues to check into based on my location data. I've actually found the directions feature to be extremely useful because I walk around the city and it tells me exactly where to turn. Like I see a little map on the screen and it'll speak to me through the uh, little uh, speakers in the back. You're saying this is like the early days of the iPhone. When the iPhone came out, it was a wild west for app developers. Yep. Same for Google Glass? Exactly the same. I mean, it's a brand new platform with a brand new form factor and nothing exists. So everything you're creating is the first.